Stick around. Coming up next is Indie News number 103. It's going to be an all-image comics legal blotter update. We've got two legal stories to talk about. First one up is going to be the lawsuit between Tony Moore and Robert Kirkman, the potential lawsuit, and Todd McFarlane and Neil Gaiman's lawsuit. That's right. I, it's old news, but it's not. It's back in the news. One We're going to talk about it again. Yeah. All that and more coming right up. Lots of stores can make lots of claims about themselves, but only I can make the claim that nobody has ever paid full price for a new comic here at Alternate Reality. Since 1994, every new comic that's walked out the door has been discounted 15% off. So if you want to save 15% off your new comics, there's only one place to come, and that's Alternate Reality. Nobody has more independent spirit than Bowen Comic Book Man. Decaffeinated, designated, disappointed, and diffused. Happy D-Day. <laughs> Ending Comic Book News, episode 103, The Temple of Zoom. Hey folks, Comic Book Man here. Welcome once again to my video outhouse. It's time for... Indie News. Indie News, number 103, and we're coming to you from this place, Alternate Reality, located at the intersection of 111th and Kedzie in beautiful downtown Mount Greenwood. Alternate Reality, where all my indie comics, including all my image comics, are always 15% off every day for everyone. This is an all-legal blotter edition of Indie News, actually image legal blotter, and only image legal blotter. That's right, there's enough legal cases to do the news. And the first story up involves Tony Moore, who is suing, of all people, Robert Kirkman over what? Prophecy says he never got or isn't getting from The Walking Dead. Well, why didn't he get them? He's listed in the book as a co-creator on the yeah. TV show. He's also listed as a co-creator. Yeah. He says he claims he was coerced to sign a contract with Kirkman to hand over his creative rights and hasn't received any royalties or even the profit statements that he's legally required to get. Coerced. How was he coerced? Yeah. Well, Kirkman said there were zombies outside that were going to eat well, him unless you know, he signed? I'll pull out that nose hair. When, the, when, this, when this story no. came up, they, you know, they said that there was always... This story about the creation of Walking Dead, because Morley did the first four or five issues, mm -hmm. and then he left because he was doing stuff somewhere else, mm -hmm. and then you brought in Charlie Adler. Right. There was always this undercurrent of he wasn't getting his money, he was kind of getting screwed, and nobody was willing to talk about it. In fact, when they talked to him, when, when they would come to Moore and go, do you talk to Kirk because you know, Walking Dead is working so successful? He goes, yeah, I talked to him, but I don't talk to him for very long. Which means he's probably like, where's my money? <laughs> I want the money. I you want the my money. money. Hey, Tony. You owe hey, me hey, this it's money. Bob. Hey, how, how, how you doing? How you doing? Good, good, good. What? Money? No, I'm so... Oh, wait a minute. What's that, hon? Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go to wife last week. I, I, I get right back to you. Okay, bye. Yeah, Kirkman's not crabbing in a Don't answer the phone if it rings. Kirkman's well, not crabbing in a gold toilet or anything. Well, Kirkman's lawyer said that he's gonna... They're gonna counter sue more, and they're gonna basically throw this out because it's a frivolous lawsuit. But unless they actually have a contract of him signing over his creative rights, of course he can get a nice little check. <laughs> Well, and yes, he's not suing. He's not suing Vale Hallow Productions. He's not suing AMC, the people who run the TV show. He's suing Kirkman. What? That's the guy he's going after. Well, if he sues Kirkman and is successful, can he then go down the road and sue Vale Hallow or AMC? I, I mean, I, if, you, if you if you win the one suit, aren't you better able to do the others? If he loses a suit with Kirkman, he's not going to have any chance with well, the other ones. If he wins a lawsuit against Kirkman, then the folks at Vale Hallow and AMC will be giving him a check anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, <laughs> right. well. Possibly, possibly, well, possibly. If, 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 if they say, no, come sue us, then. But, but, I mean, what, but see, but see they, they get screwed on that one because if you look at the opening credits, it says quite clearly, created by Robert Kirkman, Tony Moore, and Charlie Adler. Well, you cut your own throat there. <laughs> <son>. Right. <so. laughs> well, there might be no case there with the production company because they probably never had a deal. Well, the deal the, was made when he was already gone. The deal, the deal was made when he was already gone, with, but if, if, he's, get, if he's getting the created by credit and he's also created, he's also on the DVDs and stuff, he's going to get money out of the DVDs. And he's going to whatever else that comes well, out of it. He's got to come. He's got to well, come. If he wins his case with Kirkman, he will get something at some right. point down the line from the other stuff. Whatever that will be, will be decided by a judge. Right. I mean, you, make, you get to the point where, let's say, when the next season of Walking Dead goes by, starts up, you know, Kirkman talks about the writer's table. Tony Moore will be sitting right there going, Hi, how you doing? Oh, so Tony, so Kirkman's going to be saying that Tony Moore will be over here and Rob Liefeld will be over here. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they said the Image Comics Expo at the end of the month ought to be a very, very pleasant experience. Man. <laughs> uh, yeah, hi, this is Robert Kirkman. I'm really not feeling good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I ate something and I'm sick. I'm gonna be out. I'm not gonna make it. I'm to the yeah, because Kirkman and Life are gonna be there. 
I don't think more is going to be there. But if I wanted to just be a jerk about it, I just show up and go, "Hi, how you doing?" Yeah, most of the time they they're sworn secrecy anyway. If there's a case going, well, case well, if there's a case going, yeah, I mean he could screw it up by talking about right, it. Right, he could I screw it up. So he probably so he it. probably keep. He, I mean, no, it'd be in his so best interest not to not yeah, to be a fanboy no, jerk. Don't throw no punches. And actually, when this thing popped up, there's been a whole bunch of other creators talking about this and about stuff that was created, and they were talking about image books that some guy that worked with Rock, with Rick Remender that was creative rights and he says you signed all the rights I remember that I got the paperwork but if you want money out of it I'll give you a check and it, it's, yeah. this has become a big deal on the internet among comics creators okay well the whole Gary Friedrich Marvel thing has yeah, too. yeah, yeah that's all too. another story yeah, that's, that's another, another story. story continuing with the image legal blotter as we have another story we just this is one we've got another one the lawsuit between Todd McFarlane and Neil Gaiman. This sounds like a flashback. I, I feel like I'm having an acid flashback well, to like indie news number 40 or something. Yeah, it was a long time. Uh, has been finally settled. I thought, I thought we plowed this field. They settled it between the two, the two of them about exactly financial involvement. Yeah. Because, you know, Neil Gaiman worked on Spawn or yeah, on issue yeah, number yeah, nine. Yeah. He created he Angela. He created Angela. He created uh, a couple of Bogle characters. and a whole Bogle. bunch of other characters. Yeah. So it's like, issue, it's like Spawn 9 through 23. They worked he it created out. a bunch of characters that he really should be ashamed of because they suck. But, yeah. you know, but, the, but Angel was the big character. So they settled it. Uh, the two are going to divide the profits from the issues 50-50 because none of those Gaiman issues have ever been reprinted. Well, I mean, rights are rights. I mean, whether the characters suck or not, rights are rights. And if, if he owns them, or half of them or whatever, right. they're his. And any money involved in this, it goes Gaiman's way. He had said when this thing was in court and it was over with before him and not officially completely settled, he was going to go to charity. So charity should get the money for this thing. Now, there's a question. People are asking a question about the... Marvel Man thing because it might be involved in that. And it could be why we haven't seen the Marvel Man book from Marvel because... Well, they've, they've done some it. reprints of old stuff but nothing right. new. Right. So that could be why we've been waiting for the Marvel stuff from Marvel Man because they're waiting for this thing to finally be settled. And it was settled between the two of them. I mean, lawyers were, they, they got together, they talked about it, and they settled it, and it's over. Well, McFarlane released one action figure of Miracle Man. It was like Man of Wonder or something in yeah. one of the Spawn series. And he also snuck Miracle Man, actually his alter ego. Michael Moran was in the Michael page. Moran in, into a, a page or two, yeah. of, I think a Spawn book, at some point way back, because 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 Cod was swinging it around, you know, because it's because he's got a fifty foot schlong. I own part of Marvel, and Man. he said, "Well, I'm just gonna throw it in there, and then look, I've claimed it, and he's mine. I've already printed him." And the world doesn't work that way, but you know, we're talking Todd McFarland, and go figure. That's he it. lives in his own universe. That's all our legal stuff. That's all our legal stuff, and we're done. We're finished. Oh, uh, what about the donated charity? Well, I talked to him. Yeah, he's doing. Gamma's donating all his money to any profits made to charity. So if you come okay. in and you get a, you buy a copy of those reprints with Spawn Number Nine, all the money that Gaiman gets out of it, half of that for publication rights, go right to charity. There so you go. buy them just for that reason alone. Go. Buy them for that reason alone. You're helping out a charity. That is Neil Gaiman stuff. It's cool anyway. Okay, that's it. We're done. We're finished. Right over here. We've got no more image uh, legal blotter news but go to the store's website check out all of the news for image comics and indie comics that this man sends me i post up where alternate reality.com or my alternate reality what the hell is it i bookmark it sarah why aren't they bookmarking it sheesh we just bookmarked the page already www.myalternatereality.com so stop off at the store's website check out all of his news till next time this is comic book man and both saying bye the Video Outhouse is brought to you by some of the finest people willing to work for free. This is a list of some of them.